Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, the latest on Irma in a few minutes. In the meantime, uh, lately in the last several hours, uh, just light showers, but I do expect some heavier rain and thunder. Uh, about two, three hours away from now. Showers in Providence right now. Low clouds, mild and humid. Temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Currently a 69 in Providence. Upper 60s along the south shore. New Bedford coming in at 70. Taunton 71 will stay in this general temperature range throughout the evening hours and into the overnight. So Threat Tracker was still keeping it on the uh, high level just for the simple fact that, well, we had damaging thunderstorms earlier this morning. A little bit of flash flooding in some streets and another round of heavy rain and thunder under is likely some may be borderline strong and some localized minor street flooding possible as well. Most of these downpours occurring during the overnight and probably a better part of them are out of here uh, by the time the morning commute rolls around, but certainly heavy rain during the overnight getting back on track. Things drying out Thursday and Friday. We'll show you that in the seven day future cast. You see some of the scattered showers coming through right now, but look at the a left hand side of your TV set, you start to see the area that's more generous. It extends uh, south of Long Island, New York. So you see all this orange and gold right in here. In fact, I have the lightning tracker uh, turned on. This is all advancing uh, to the north and east, and this will overspread the area uh, two to three hours from now and during the overnight. It's ahead of a what we call a stationary front. So this boundary is just separating humid air on one side, which we have to drier air off to the west. We'll get into some of that drier air coming up for tomorrow, but this boundary is a focus focusing mechanism for scattered showers and thunderstorms. Getting real close, I'm going to show you the future cast next roughly uh, six to ten hours starting off this evening. You see the precipitation working in. Watch how your TV set just lights up in red and orange. One, two, three o'clock in the morning. Downpours from rumbles of thunder. It eases up by six o'clock in the morning. So while the commute will have damp roads, better part of the commute should be dry as most of this activity is out of here by around seven, eight o'clock tomorrow morning and certainly by 10 a.m. Draw our attention now to the tropics. Three storms. Cadia right in there in the Gulf of Mexico. Obviously Irma in here and then Jose out in the central Atlantic. Cadia not a threat to the U.S. though it will be a, a concern from Mexico. Uh, Jose out in the central Atlantic poses no threat to the U.S. mainland. Obviously all interest on Irma right now. Still a well-developed category five hurricane. Here is San Juan, Puerto Rico. The eye of the storm is about uh, 100 miles, actually 80 miles north of the island, moving west northwest at uh, 16 miles per hour. Here's the latest from the National uh, Hurricane Center. Winds of 185 moving west northwest. If anything, uh, perhaps getting uh, a little stronger. So this is still a powerhouse hurricane as it tracks off to the north and west. Now these storms feed on very warm ocean water. The water temperatures out across the Bahamas and South Florida, this area of dark red that you see on your TV set, 86 to 87 degrees. So so as that storm passes over that warmer water, there's just the potential as it gets closer to Florida for this uh, storm to actually gain strength. Hurricane watches and warnings extending through the Bahamas more than likely will be hoisted for Florida beginning either late tonight and certainly by tomorrow morning. Multiple computer model forecast tracks, all of them sort of indicating a turn uh, to the north with the storm. So by Monday, somewhere near the Carolina coastline. So when you average all these lines together, you get an average forecast track. That's from the National Hurricane Center and the thinking is still west northwest and then eventually taking that turn to the north along the Florida Peninsula and by Monday a category three storm near the Carolina Georgia coastline by Monday afternoon. Here we are in southern New England so obviously we don't want to ignore this storm now through Monday we're fine but certainly want to keep an eye on things especially by the middle of next week to see how things play out but from now until Monday things are looking okay with improving weather for tomorrow especially during the afternoon Friday Saturday Sunday even Monday seasonably mild and dry day Daytime highs in the 70s and nights that are in the 50s. The main focus, the main risk, obviously, is Florida through at least South Carolina now uh, through Monday of next week. At least they got another day or two to get ready. Yeah, yeah evacuation, some mandatory already. All right, thank you, Tony. Caught on.